we are on our way to shop for chic on a budget so what i do with chic on a budget is basically going to stores that are more budget friendly for me when i shop i do try to buy things that will last longer and look really nice and that will look like i spent a lot of money on but today i'm gonna show you what i look for when i buy these clothes and what kind of small little details that can make an item look more expensive But I noticed the knits, the way they are, they don't look good after like a few wears when you wash them. Also, these don't look good. They just stretch out and it becomes like a big cable and it looks cheap. This one is a bit better because there's a design Tighter, to yeah. it. the studio and now that I got a few items for the Chicana budget I'm gonna showcase what are my picks I have to say there wasn't a lot going on in stores. When I do chic on a budget, I do make sure that I show you pieces that are legitimately good, that are made well, that will serve you, you know, for longer than just this season. There was not much going on, but I did my best and I'm actually happy that there are fewer items that I can focus on. Well, first, I wanted to say a huge thank you to GlassesUSA.com for sponsoring this part of the video. GlassesUSA.com have been a company that I've been working with for a long time now and I'm really proud of this partnership if you've ever seen my eyewear it's all glasses USA so they are cutting the middlemen and the reason why I'm including them in the chic on a budget is because it's exactly that you don't pay that extra fee that you do when you go to a store so the prices are amazing and you get up to 70% off of retail prices I'm right now wearing probably my most used pair But also I have two other pairs that I alternate between. Now they have designer brands as well on the website like Ray-Bans and also their own in-house brands. This is the other one that I like to wear. And you can add any prescription that you need on the website. It's super easy to use the website. You just go on it, you take a selfie, you upload your photo, and then you can actually match the styles virtually. So that's really, really helpful. This was a collaboration with GlassesUSA.com and Hilary Duff, Lizzie McGuire. What is the Lizzie McGuire song? The dreams are made of. A complete set of glasses that includes the frames and the prescription starts at $30, which is an amazing price. So these are my top picks that I use and wear. I've linked my styles in the description box and you can find other styles online when you go to glassesusa.com. So my first item from Chic on a Budget is actually one that I got online. I didn't get it in stores. And this is my Everlane dropped high-waisted denim. I got them in white and the price was really good for the quality also Everlane is a sustainable brand so it's nice to happen to the more sustainable aspect of fashion I got them in white specifically because most of my white pants are kind of flared so this is a great kind of high boot style for the winter the next item from Everlane is this turtleneck I wanted to find something that's breathable and nice on the skin this is hundred percent cotton and also the price for it was forty dollars Canadian which means it's a around 30 US. Also, this is a staple that I feel like you layer a lot. So you want to find one that's made of good material and won't trap all the heat in your body. I actually just changed my mind about an item because I actually wouldn't buy it myself. So I don't want to recommend you guys to buy it. So moving on from Zara was this teddy coat, which I grabbed honestly, just because of the color. Is it so thick? No. Will you have to layer? Yes. 
but if you are into the teddy coats i think this is a really nice more elevated color to one i feel like it will be really multi-purpose as something that you can just wear during the day and something that you can really transform into more of like an evening-ish look then we are gonna move on to h&m i got this jacket that really reminded me of kind of the vintage jackets that i usually find at thrift stores the way that it's structured it's kind of baggy it has a masculine look but it is nicely made this one also has a wool blend in it which i like and i really like the color as well so I wanted to show you guys this one in case you are in the market for the more vintage feeling coats. You can also use it as an overcoat and again with light colors it would look really nice. With darker colors it will work so I gravitated towards it. Then some other items that I found that I like was this hat. This actually has a wool alpaca blend in it. I like the color and then I also found these gloves that I really like the colors as you can tell I'm really going towards the lighter colors this winter also an item that I usually buy from either Walmart or Costco but I found them at H&M it's these tights that actually have fleas inside of them so they will keep you warm these are $15 Canadian so like 10 bucks US these are really really good essential to have in the winter time another thing that I got out are these polka dot tights that I actually wore to a premiere in New York. I went to really high-end stores to find them and I found a pair that literally looks the same for like $200. Then I went to H&M and I found them for like $15. Major score, I'm gonna be wearing those a lot. I really like like the fun aspect they bring to an outfit. So that I also got at H&M. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll see you next time. Thank you lovely so much for watching. For more fashion content, check out the eight must-have boots for winter.